surprise skies to surprise seas. One gemstone is famous for the world's most beautiful blues. Sapphire is one of the most eye-catching gemstones used by jewelers for their creations. In the past, it was believed that the one who owned a sapphire was a good person, loyal and capable of following commands. Today, the precious stone is a refinement that any woman would love to keep in her jewelry box and flaunt on special occasions. But how to spot the best sapphire on the market and not be cheated when it comes to its price and quality? Let's explore the splendor of sapphire together. And you'll find all the answers in this video. Hi everyone, I'm Sasha Karyeva and on this channel I talk about gemstones. Welcome! Among the sapphires that have gone down in history is undoubtedly the engagement ring of Lady Diana Spencer, a beautiful piece of white gold with 14 diamonds and imposing 12 carat oval cut blue sapphire in the center. Today this ring shines on the finger of Kate Middleton to whom it was given by Prince William as a token of their love and tribute to his mother. The symbol of truth, faithfulness and the soul. The gift of blue sapphire is a promise to be true that makes sapphire a beautifully meaningful gemstone for an engagement ring. No doubt that the reason why natural blue sapphires and blue sapphire engagement rings are the most popular color gemstones choice. Sapphire is also one of the most durable gemstones. Its corundum, with a hardness of 9 on the most scale, is second only to diamond's hardness. Sapphire is also tough, but it does not mean that you can wash the dish with the sapphire ring. I know that sometimes you forget to take your ring off. Your stone will survive, of course, but if you take care of your blue sapphire, your precious stone gem will survive your family for hundreds of years. The color of sapphire is very restful, like gazing out at the ocean, it makes you feel more peaceful and serene. Is blue your favorite color? You are not alone. Blue is the most popular color worldwide. That's why so many people love sapphire. For sapphire, the intensity of the blue color is more than just beauty. It's the primary factor in determining value. The ideal stone displays an intense, rich blue without being dark or inky. Stones which are too dark and inky or too light in color have less value. Sapphires come in countless shades of blue. Cornflower, pico, coroyal and violet blues are commonly preferred because they are so vivid. The premium color categories are exported the most. If you are wondering which shade of blue to choose, I have a tip for you. My advice for areas with less sun is to choose lighter colors. Of course, every case and gem is individual, but the popular royal blue color often looks dark, almost black in the cold countries. Navy blue, indigo and twilight are the second most popular shades. Other ranks based on the taste of collectors and individuals. My personal choice is peacock and cornflower colors. It looks stunning in any environment. When you choose a sapphire, always look at it in daylight. In fact, the best light to view the color comes just after sunrise and before sunset. Artificial light will never let you see the true colors of sapphires. Now comes the most interesting part of this video. Let's talk about the prices. Sapphire is one of the world's most expensive gems, and you already know from my previous videos that its price depends on color, clarity, weight, origin, and treatments. Treatments are a big topic which we cover in the next video. Low quality pieces may be available for a few dollars per carat. Such stones are generally not clean enough to facet. The most expensive blue sapphire ever sold was the 392.52 carat named the Blue Bell of Asia. It was sold for 17 million US dollars at Christie's Geneva in November 2014. What we know about this gem is that it was an untreated Ceylon sapphire, a cushion cut stone that draws your gaze into the depth of its captivating blue prism. The stone set a world record for the highest price paid at auction for a sapphire. 
one more famous blue sapphire is the 22.66 carats unnamed Kashmir sapphire from India, once owned by James Jerome Hill. He was a Canadian-American railroad director in the 19th century. This sapphire was sold in 2007 for $135,000 per carat. If you calculate, we'll get the price three million USD dollars for the whole gem. What a good deal! Today, Kashmir sapphire are the most rare and the most expensive among blue sapphires. And I won't be surprised if at some point the owner of this almost 23 carats blue Kashmir sapphire will ask 3 million USD per 1 carat. So now we know that the most expensive are Kashmir sapphires. Next will be blue sapphires from Burma. Burmese uh, sapphires are also not so easy to find in the market. The next most popular and the most famous sapphires are Sri Lanka or Ceylon blue sapphires. Ceylon sapphires are also very beautiful and the price is a bit lower because this country still mines this gem from different deposits. Not only deposit, also treatments affect the price. I give you the numbers for nice quality of blue sapphires. The difference in a one thing had the gem, the heat treatment or not. So start with the one carat blue sapphire. Price can range from 500 to 1000 dollars for heated gem, from 1000 to 4000 US dollars for same one carat weight of unheated blue sapphire. If you speak about two carat gem, the price per carat is usually double to 1000 dollars to 2000 dollars per carat for two carat heated blue sapphire and three 4000 dollars per carat for unheated gem. Price of masterpiece above 5 carat for heated blue sapphire is about $5,000 per carat. For unheated natural blue sapphire can range between $10,000 and $150,000 per carat for exceptionally sized pure blue sapphires. Dark inky blue sapphires come from Australia, China, Vietnam, Laos, Nigeria and a bunch of other localities. The price for these stones will be cheap and the color honestly will be far from vivid blue color. Fine blue of small size have been mined in Montana in United States. They are good for private gem collections. Properties of true gems and their value is one of the things I'll be covering more of on this channel. So do make sure to subscribe to watch more videos like this in future. One more thing which I want to share is the phenomena of blue sapphire. Blue sapphires may display asterism, the star effect. Fine star sapphire displays sharp six rayed stars well centered in the middle of the cabochon. Cabochon means simple of a setting shape for opaque gems. All parts of the star should be intact and smooth. Just having a good star does not make a stone valuable. The best pieces have sharp stars against an intense blue body color. It is not so easy to find this magic combination, bright color and a sharp star. But be aware of the synthetic blue sapphires. They are sold everywhere as setting gems and cabochons. Synthetic blue sapphires have been produced by the Vernal process and cost just pennies per carat. Vernal process uh, was the first commercially successful method of uh, manufacturing synthetic gemstones, developed in the late 1883. Can you imagine almost 150 years we have synthetic blue sapphires on the gem market? Doublets consisting of natural sapphire crowns and synthetic sapphire pavilions are very common. Particularly in mining areas, synthetic are also common at the mines in both rough and cut forms. I currently do have a few pieces of blue sapphires on my website. You can check the link in the description and get a better idea on the prices of blue sapphires as per color and size. Before you go, I'd like to share with you a pinch of magic in our video about blue corundum sapphires. First of all, blue sapphire is the birthstone of September. So don't miss it, you still have time to prepare a gift for someone or for yourself with this desirable gem. Whatever is the reason for your interest in blue sapphires, I wish you to find your best blue sapphire, which will bring you pleasure of the natural beauty. I hope you enjoyed this tour into the blue sapphires and I'll see you in the next video.